Hello and welcome, all you dudes, dudettes, and variations thereupon. You know what I heard? I heard about a great way to organize your dead of winter, Warring Colonies, a crossroads game expansion by Pledad Games. Now, for those of you who've already seen my previous videos, you probably know that I'm a big fan of board games, but an even bigger fan of having my board games well organized and ready to just pick up and play. Uh, so in this video, we're gonna take a short look at how I organize this particular game. And this is what it looks like. Uh, in one of my other videos, I'll link it somewhere here. I show you how to use Black Foam Core to organize Dead of Winter, the core game, or the base game. Uh, and I'm just gonna pick it all apart and show you how it's done. All right. And you've probably noticed that uh, this bears a lot of resemblance to the other one. For the base game, I used plans from the esotericorderofgamers.com. This I made all by myself, uh, taking inspiration, of course, from the original box. So it bears a little resemblance, as you can see. Uh, there are different compartments for the cards, for the survivors, and I've labeled almost all of the compartments so that I can easily see w which components go where. So the way I did this is that I first made a, I made the base of this box, uh, the bottom and the sides, and then just used my imagination and I tried to use some ingenuity to be able to uh, fit all of the components in the box. As I've said before, I prefer to use sleeved cards because it makes them last longer. Uh, but that way they take up much more space uh, than if you would prefer not to have them sleep. Uh, this is not an issue in this particular box because there's a lot of empty space when all of the components are inside. Uh, but I'm just going to put it all back and show you. Uh, we'll start with, the, with this compartment and that is where the crossroads cards will go. And I'll just lift it up and show you. Uh, in each of the compartments for the cards, I've made nooks that are able to fit one of my fingers, perhaps two of someone with smaller fingers, so that you can easily pick them out of the box. Uh, so this is where the crosswords cards go. Next go the random item cards. And in the last one, we have Lone Wolf Secret Objective, Lone Wolf Mission, Main Objective, Survivor, and Crisis cards. So there are a lot of different types of cards in this pile. And they're pretty easy to just pick out from the box. In the middle, uh, we have a few special comp uh, components for uh, that are specific to this expansion. It's the sand timer. Uh, for that I just uh, made sure to put it at a higher level and then I made nooks here to where it fits perfectly and it lays still when you when you ra rattle the box or carry it with you. On top of that goes the combat track which is resting on two uh, pieces which are slightly higher than the timer. So that's that. Uh, down on the bottom we have uh, tactics cards. And those are specific to this game and uh, this are the of the smaller uh, variant. So they go there. I have a little nook here as well where I can fit a finger. And on top of that go goes the box of dice and a couple of markers, which are used for the combat track. The next compartment is not labeled, but that is where the bullets go. 
And lastly, we have the survivors. Which fit nicely into there. Uh, also, uh, taking inspiration from uh, the base game organization system, I carved out a piece here uh, where these walls are the same height so that I can put uh, the player reference sheets right here. The lone wolf den as well as the rule book. And now all that is sitting flush with the uh, with the game box. And the lid closes down easily on top. So there you go. Uh, feel free to use this for yourself. Uh, it's very it's a very neat way to organize this game. Um, I'm very happy with it uh, thus far. I haven't actually played this game yet because uh, when I bought it I didn't realize that you needed both the base game and the uh, standalone expansion, uh, The Long Night. So I have yet to play this. Until then, it's at least neatly organized. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what I do, give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below about what you would like to see next. And uh, you can subscribe if you want to know when I release new videos. So, thanks for watching. Bye.